what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A black man who filmed a viral video of a white woman calling the police on him in Central Park says he's uncomfortable with the backlash against her. Oh, he took it a step further. He said he's uncomfortable with her losing her job. He said if the goal is to address the underlying conditions, then this backlash against her is uncalled for. Family, where did they get them from? Good God, where did they get them from? I am from Africa. My roots are in Africa. My bloodline is traced to Africa. I come from a long line of warriors, kings, warriors who were trained to be loving, to be nurturing, to be caring, to be family oriented. But to step on their enemy and destroy them without mercy. Now, that's the blood that's running through my veins. I don't know where these dudes come from. I just don't remember these type of guys Growing up, and that was always a sucker, you know, a sucker to somebody, one, one or two weak dudes, you know. You know, and nobody really pick on them or nothing, you know. They was, they, was, they was weak, they was soft, soft shoe type dudes, and everybody knew it and nobody messed with them. They was cool. They found their, their way, you know. They were able to fit in amongst everybody else. But God, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of... I don't know, maybe it's the internet that makes it seem like it's so many more. Because now you're getting the soft shoes out of Houston, Beaumont, Dallas, New Orleans, New York, New Hampshire, L.A., Chicago, Flint, Dayton, Cincinnati, just on and on and on. Family, I did not know it was so many suckers out there. I did not know it was so many sambos. This is why it has taken so long for us to get these folks foot off our necks. We got these we got these people who want to forgive. I mean, they look for excuses to forgive. It's like, as soon as harm is brought to them, as soon as they're violated, before the violator can even be identified, I forgive them, I just want to, I just forgive them, I just forgive them, I forgive them. You know, I just think that, you know, like, you know, I, you know, I wanted something to happen to him, but I didn't want y'all to take a job. I didn't want you to arrest him. I mean, I know that's what they would have wanted for me, and I know that they wouldn't have stopped the police from arresting me, and I know they would have never said they forgave me, but I want to forgive them because God put it on my heart. And just that's just the Christian thing to do. Hate to pick on you Christians, but it seems like they're almost always Christians. God, where do they come from, fam? Oh man, the worst part about it—they got they got kids, man. The ones who don't have kids, they'll probably have kids, and they'll raise them the same way. Weak, docile ultra forgiving let me tell you something 
I am a loving man. I am a nurturing man. I'm not a domineering man. I am a considerate man. I'm a respectful man. But if you bring anything, if the enemy bring anything my way to violate me or mine, I am going in. All bets are off. I will show you no mercy. None whatsoever. You know why? Because I don't mess with nobody. And I don't mess with nobody's people. So they ain't got no business messing with me and mine. That's how it is. Now, for those of you who probably lost on this subject, this woman was in an area of Central Park that requires you to put a leash on your dog. A guy by the name of Christian Cooper. He's a bird watcher. So he wants her to put a leash on a, on, on, a, on a dog so that the dog won't, like, you know, attack the birds. You know? So she gets offended. And he starts filming. And she starts, like, getting on the phone, threatening to call the police. Specifically, her words, I'm going to tell the police. I'm going to call the police and tell them that an African-American man is threatening me. Actually, she said, threatening my life. For those police officers who love beating on black folks and violating black, black folks, oh man, that is music to their ears. They can't wait to get out on the scene and bust some heads. He looked up on this one. He got one that had half a brain, I guess, because you know they didn't handcuff him and treat him like a criminal. But damn, that could have ended very badly. Here's a woman that was really trying to get him killed. And then she had the nerve enough to say that she's been blessed with her interactions with the police. I know damn well you've been blessed. Glad you can admit it. And I realize that there are some people who don't have the same experience as me. You now realize when your ass is 40-something years old? These are the type of people walking around this country. <laughs> I'm glad I've had a chance to travel. If it wasn't for the majority of my family being right here, I would move. I would not live here at all. This is a very diabolical country. And I say country. I normally say people, but it's the country. Uh, it's the it's systemic. And they're indoctrinated. The the ones who are who oppress, who antagonize are indoctrinated, and the ones who accept it is indoctrinated. All of it is beneath me. And it is very hard for me to just accept that this is the way things are. I mean, it literally makes my skin crawl. It makes my blood boil. He's worried about this woman being fired and the way she's being treated after she tried to put a hit on him. And he's really worried about her losing her job. I'm not worried about her losing her job. She'll find more employment. Right along with the other 40 million people who's out of work. Good luck out there, Amy. No more talk. What the haters talking about?